what's going on guys happy new year happy 2021 i haven't been on here in a little while but i'm gonna make it a point to come back and stay back so i'm not going anywhere I'm so new to this so bear with me you know so today i'm gonna be talking a little bit about um really the just the main things that people as beginners anybody who's new to the gym to weight loss to dieting pretty much the most important things the basics that a lot of people don't know going into this journey and that they really should because if you know certain things from the start then you would save a lot of time into getting the progress that you're looking for so there's a lot of things honestly i've been in the fitness world now for about eight years i mean we're eight years working out but i've been training for about four years i've gotten to learn a lot about what certain people base themselves off of and what trends certain people follow to lose the weight that, that they want to lose and what shortcuts they take and that's helped me learn a lot about what the misconceptions are more than anything really the biggest biggest misconception the biggest misconception <laughs> misconception is that you have to work out a lot to lose weight working out a lot does help you lose weight but the main number one thing that matters is your diet of course i'm sure a lot of us are tired of hearing that yeah but i eat clean and i don't really see any change mm, that's what you think a lot of the brands out there that advertise healthy choice or all natural or low fat or sugar free or vegan or any of these options it's all really just deceiving the person who doesn't really understand what that means not all those foods out there and food products that you see at the store are actually healthy so many people think that they're eating the right things when really they're not that's not what your body needs that's not what your body is going to benefit from so yeah you don't have to work out like crazy to see the change to see the progress to see the weight loss i said diet is everything and you can easily easily lose 20 pounds just off of eating correctly and eating differently than than what you're used to so for example if you're a busy mom business owner you have multiple jobs um and you don't really have that time to to dedicate to the gym you can start off by just eating right and then work your way up and believe me when you eat right and you start seeing those results from eating right you're gonna be super motivated to just start going to the gym you're just gonna want more and that's really how fitness works because you start to fall in love with the progress of of taking care of yourself another thing that i've realized a lot of people believe is that doing workouts for your obliques will make your waist smaller <coughs> wrong it's not going to um, workouts for your obliques actually build your oblique muscles which is right here in your waist area so you want to avoid working out your obliques unless you don't care that that muscle grows and you want to do it for strength which is totally fine but if you're trying to make your waist smaller that's not going to help you out instead you want to do things like core workouts that are going to tighten your core so you can start off without weight and then if you feel like you want to work your way up then you can do that but yes oblique workouts are not going to make your waist smaller all right so another thing that a lot of people don't really realize when they start their weight loss journey is that stress rest and your water intake are all so crucial for losing weight stress is actually one of the bigger ones um Pretty much when your cortisol levels are high, it makes it harder for your body to burn the fat that it's trying to burn. Simply put, if you're stressed out, you might notice bloating, you might notice uh, tiredness. So keep those stress levels low, not just mental stress, like I said, but physical. And that also ties into resting. So how much rest you get on a daily basis is another factor of whether you're gonna lose weight. If you don't give your body the time to recover, unless your your genetics are blessed it's harder for your body to lose that weight it's good to give your body the time it needs to recover and usually you'll know because your body will tell you you'll feel it you'll feel really tired you'll feel really drained your muscles will feel exhausted so 
if that's how you feel give it a little rest at the end of the day you're just starting out and you don't want to push yourself too much to the point that you're just gonna fall out of out of interest with working out or dieting so take it step by step you know this is not this is not gonna be an overnight fix this is not gonna be a one month thing um if you're really trying to make a change you need to stick to it and it's gonna be a lifestyle change and that's gonna take time another thing is your water intake our body is mostly made of water our muscles are as well so if you're not hydrated that can slow it down as well so another thing you should know if you're a beginner is carbs are your friend um a lot of people think oh i'm gonna lose weight let me just not have any carbs at all i'm just gonna starve pretty much like no that's not what we need to do i'm sure you're gonna lose some weight doing that but that is not good for you that's not good for your health that's not gonna help you with your weight loss to actually keep the weight off so and that's not gonna help you look good either it's, you're just gonna lose weight because you're not eating do not be afraid of carbs they help you they're your friend <laughs> without carbs you won't have energy and your muscles aren't gonna grow so carbs are okay for you like i said keep your carb source as natural as possible that way you're really getting the best out of it another thing is that beginners are usually really scared of lifting weights usually we think okay i'm gonna lose weight i'm gonna do a bunch of cardio and i'll be good no cardio is going to help you lose weight and lose fat don't get me wrong but it's about more than just cardio lifting weights allows for your muscles to get a workout in so not only are you burning fat because of your heart rate but through those workouts you're growing your muscles you're gaining strength the more muscle that your body has the more fat that your body is going to burn on its own naturally so why in the world would you not want to lift and not only that when you're lifting you're shaping up your entire body it's not just lifting for looking good it's lifting for the strength it's lifting for the posture all in all lifting weights is good for you so real quick before we wrap this up the main things that every beginner should know is that you don't need to work out like crazy because diet is everything as long as you eat right you can see the progress no matter what which goes into the second one that is natural sources of food is the best for you your best options when you are trying to lose weight the foods advertised as healthy and low fat and sugar free and this and that are usually not the healthy ones stress water intake and rest are all really important components of weight loss as well you should not be scared of lifting weights as it is good for you and it will help you burn even more fat and last but not least carbs are your friend please remember this please because so many of us do the wrong thing and then you don't eat enough carbs and then you don't see the muscle growth and then you're tired and then you don't want to go to the gym because you're tired because you're not eating carbs so please just have some carbs so yes that's it for now i really hope that you guys got some good knowledge and tips uh from what i said these were all things that i wish i knew when i started my fitness journey when i started wanting to lose weight um honestly if i would have known most of these things my fitness journey would have been completely different and would have been a lot faster and wouldn't have required so much trial and error in the process you know but that's why i went through it and now i'm able to share this with you guys so i hope this helps i look forward to getting into depth on a lot of these that i mentioned because there is so much more to each one of those and really i'm just keeping it simple today because this is a video for beginners and if we complicate it too much then i'm afraid that i'm gonna scare you guys away so um little by little this is a journey this is not an overnight thing like i said so take that knowledge do with it the best that you can and remember if you need any guidance with your diets or workouts i do offer online coaching you can join my team at thebodymethod.co or you can just send me an email or a dm so thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to like and subscribe to support your girl and i'll see you guys on the next one please